Hands to yourself. What's through there isn't for you. Not without permission. Speak to the attendant by the front. She will put everything in order for you. Then you will be free to enter. Just remember that what happens through those doors and beyond is secret. On you go. Take a seat once you're inside. Welcome, friend. Your burdens are soon to be made as light as a feather. Trust me. Please, do not delay. Contentment is within your grasp. Just step inside with an open mind. Welcome to the House of Grief. Or perhaps welcome is the wrong word, Shadowheart. There's been some debate whether you'd even show up and face the consequences of your actions. I assumed you tried to flee. Like a craven. Spare me your venom. I'm sure the Mother Superior will have plenty of her own. All in due time. As I said, in due time. First you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. This is the House of Grief. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy. Be it with anger, melancholy, grief, or treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. The mapping will begin shortly. You seek to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. That voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No. Had taken from me. My family. My life. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? Why map what is already known? A disloyal heart, a craven heart, a shadow heart. Now answer, what is your true purpose? The artifact. I was sent to retrieve it at any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior of Shal... It 
it's you. Give me the honor of my name. In full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior. Iconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Now descend. You have much to answer for. An astral projection. We should take this one seriously. She's clever by half. childhood spent in these halls. The Mother Superior must be close. Soon this will all be over. Keep going. The Mother Superior is expecting you. heard how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah, how she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact. And I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family. And now you have turned your back on it. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself, and you squandered it. Whispers reached my ears from all corners. Potential rivals of Lady Shah, all vying for the same prize. A new god, amassing the disaffected, the outcasts. Those who should turn to us. This absolute is but an upstart, disturbing the natural order and threatening to impede the glorious return of Lady Shah's pure, endless darkness. I had to act. I had to strangle that foul conspiracy while it was still in the cradle. We learned all we could. The artifact was the one thing the absolutists feared. The one thing they desperately wanted to keep out of their enemy's grasp. I had to have it. Lady Shah's concerns lie elsewhere. With another. But she is a goddess. She can afford to ignore that which does not threaten her. I must keep her faith alive in mortal hearts. I must defend her ways, lead her children, stop all threats. Even if I must go against her wishes, I will prove myself her most loyal servant. Shah doesn't care. She was always going to use you and discard you. But now I'm going to deal with you first. You there! Surrender this one to me now, 
And you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. As you like. Lilala! For Shah! I am Lady Shah's instrument. You cannot win. to learn the hard way. Lady Shah's will shall be done. Sure as night. Jeez.
Matters. Close ranks.
the only way out is through. Survival is all that matters. And I need to speak. You may have evaded the mapping of the heart, but never mind. I can delve into your true intentions right now. You feel the barest of presences caress your mind. She's reading your thoughts. Ah, as I thought. Quite an adventure has brought you to this point. Illithids, kidnapping, infection, the hells, Hunted by cultists and Githyanki alike. And, of course, the artifact. Its name does not concern me. Its power does. I have been awaiting word of this item for some time, ever since I dispatched a cadre of Lady Shah's children to retrieve it. I have been very patient. But no more. I felt Shadowheart's presence in your mind. And with it, the artifact. She succeeded in retrieving it, but then it is you who appeared, not her. Where is the artifact? to keep your counsel, I'm afraid. You already revealed so much to me during the mapping. Humor me with a little negotiation. Perhaps we can find terms that will allow blades to remain sheathed. Reconsider. Aid me. And you can count on my support against the Absolute. Reject me, and your journey ends here.
my interest is defeating the Absolute. It seems you're on that path already. I will not have it said that I am unreasonable. Shadowheart, surrender her to me. She has much to answer for. Oh, but I shall. I'll just ask your corpse where she's hiding. Lilala! Fasha! It can't be another vile trick. No, there is no trick. It's her, Jennifer, Jan, a little girl. Moon Maiden's Grace, it is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. Resided. Every time you try to step away from me, every time you try to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. I am neither. I am nothing. I am the empty room. The dreamless sleep. The shadow's shadow. There was no pain before my sister set the sun aflame. Now you exist to suffer. Until you find your way back to my embrace. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here! I'm taking them away from you! You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, do, I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. 
We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. these years, that dream kept us going, that you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was, and still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. I just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. to be a guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jen. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even close. free now. As am I. And part of them is still here with me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. Shadowheart, still. I can't run away from who I was all this time. Besides, there's something fitting to it. Can't cast a shadow without sunlight. Mm. My parents. I saw them. I spoke to them. And let them go. It's... It's more than I can take in just now. Give me a night to try and get my head together.
position. I'm ready. Got to move. Sounds like there's gold inside. They're proceeds? Wonderful little beast, nimble as anything. There was a squirrel in the tree. Marvelous creature, inquisitive and nut-crazed. Oh, just tired, I suppose. It's been quite a long day. Or at least I think it has. You wouldn't happen to know where I live, would you? I see. It must have just slipped my mind. These things happen. This is more than a lapse, you sense. Something's been done to the man's memories. Well, I remember I was sad. But in truth, I'm not quite sure what caused it. I'm not even sure I know what sad is anymore. And I came from that building over there. They were very nice to me. Seemed very helpful. Although, for the life of me, I can't recall what I was doing there in the first place. There must be, you would think. You know, I can swear there is someone, but their name escapes me. Hells, even their face escapes me. <laughs> A figment of my imagination, perhaps. <laughs> Oh, it will come back to me. Or not. I'm content enough here, in either case.
First you cleave my heart in twain, now you shatter it to pieces. My son, a monster. Twisted beyond recognition, to think my blood flows through those veins. Is this my fate? To be freed from Gortash's hell, only to be trapped in yours? It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me, on your city. To chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. It is exactly what I think. Raven God's tadpole clenches as your memories and wills flow into him. My tears wounds. I'm in your mind. The Grand Duke sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice is set before him. No. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Ravenguard sees Will partnering with Mizora to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to Baldur's Gate and he sees everything beyond. The Nautiloid journey, the perilous path to Moonrise, the astral prism, and the Emperor within. Well, everything I did, I did for Baldur's Gate. I did for you. My son, you sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate. And I cast you out for it. You gave yourself to the Hell's eternal fires so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most. And a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but my duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Before I was captured, I was on a mission. Returning from Alterel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. I didn't despair. Because the city has a secret guardian, a worm that sleeps beneath. He can be called upon in times of great need. This is such a time. You've been trained in the ways of the great champions and proven to be one of them. The worm will answer your call. You must seek him out. A bronze dragon, yes. He sleeps beneath us even now, awaiting a hero to rouse him. The worm goes by many names. Ansur, the waiting storm, the heart of the gate. He promised Baldurin he'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened, but just the once. Since then, the city has faced countless threats, but we always overcame. There was never a need to call on the worm. Until now. The Absolute is the greatest threat Baldur's Gate ever faced. The worm must be awakened, and the task falls to you. Take this. The Legend of Ansur. An ancient epic, ill-remembered, dismissed as a mere tale. Let it set the path before you. The legend has it that Ansur will only answer to a proven hero of the city. Until a moment ago, I thought that was me. But is he who rejects his own child a hero? 
What of he who calls his brave son a monster? You showed me the truth. You showed me that I was the one who turned his back. You showed me that Will may be the future of Baldur's Gate, and well beyond it. Thank you. And may the city know the truth of my only son. Pride of Ravenguard. Pride of Baldur's Gate. Your mind tingles as it opens to Will. He learns of Mazora's meddling and Floric's tale of the dragon Ansur. Curse that rotten devil and her forked tongue, trying to set Eltan against me. She's a damnable inferno of chaos. <sighs> what matters now is that Eltan saw sense, and we know our path forward. We'll finish what my father couldn't. We'll awaken Ansur, the heart of the gate. I do, and so did my father. Go on, read the legend of Ansur. Then we can plan our next steps. It's complicated. <laughs> There's the joy of reconciliation, the relief of forgiveness, and the anxiety of new expectation. It's a flurry of emotion. I'm not sure how to make sense of it. Joy. To my father, I was only ever a boy. Incredible that he can see the man I became. Once all this is ended, once we've crushed the brain and freed the people, I could once more call Baldur's Gate home. Whether I return there, well, only time will tell. Be honest. What do you think of the new look? Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. Most are lost forever. Some may creep back into my mind if I encounter anything that helps clear the fog. Then, there's what Shah did restore to me. Memories of pain, suffering, both my own and what I inflicted. It's overwhelming. Like a lifetime's worth of nightmares unleashed all at once upon waking, I can barely untangle one moment from another, not that I even want to. I just know that my heart sinks if I let my thoughts wander to them. Shah seeks to break people, to fill their lives with despair so that they will turn to her for relief. Perhaps she thought this would lead me back to her in time, but it won't. I fought too hard to win my freedom. I will not give it up again, no matter how much it hurts. Of course. From the first time I laid eyes on you right until now. That's all safe. I wouldn't surrender even a moment of it. Perhaps. But in the meanwhile, I'll just have to find a way to live with them.
doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith. Or forgot about it. I wanted to come here. To see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I know. Now that I know who I am. Loss. Actual loss, not Shah's oblivion. I had my family. For too short a moment. Now they're gone. By my hand. I remember. But they can't comfort me. They can't give me advice. They can't tell me what I was like as a little girl. time since I've shed a tear. I don't even know how long. We carry on. It's all we can do. I'll follow in a while. I think I want to stay here a little longer, firstly. This place isn't familiar, but... It's peaceful. Something the matter? I should hope not, after the time we spent together. My spirits are thoroughly lifted. Oh? Not feeling any regrets, I hope. Trust me. I'll be an eager pupil, if I have a thorough teacher. Though, I'm still finding sand in my hair. I wonder what the others will think of that. <laughs> but of course they will. I hope we'll have more opportunities to slip away. And make sandcastles. The Absolute's voice is gone, but I still hear its echoes. Reflections of reflections. Hell's Floric. While the Absolute commanded my mind, I condemned her to death and confined her in Worm's Rock prison. She stood by me even as the Hell's fires lapped at my feet. <laughs> you must free her. Thank you. I will be forever in your debt. I was returning from Elturel. My traveling party stopped at an inn, Joaquin's Rest, to lay our heads. It wasn't the heat that woke me. It was the scent. Cultists had set fire to the place. I don't remember being taken. 
just the smoke burning my throat before I fell. I awoke in Moonrise Towers, inside one of those damnable pods. The rest, well, the rest goes without saying. A complicated one. I went to greet Elturel's High Overseer. Only for the Archdevil Zario to drag the city into the hells. I have been touched by Avernus. Been a plaything for demons. A tale for other places. Other days. release from one tadpole only for you to commune with another i chide you if my mind were not consumed by the sight of orpheus within his domed prison the prince of the comet lives but make no mistake i can see the change in you feel the parasite worming its way through you even further you have invited your own misery i will not break our alliance for it but I will not condone it. Are you sure that's the best course of action? Confirmed. Until then, I remain at the ready. Shadowheart's parents are at peace. And so she, it seems. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on.